the number one thing I want my new recruit to be able to do is you gotta be able to do multiple things at once. For instance, we have an individual we're trying to follow. He is in a car because he's trying to get away, and so now your job is trying to follow that individual with your camera. It can be difficult. Now, how do you know where this guy's going? You don't. So you almost have to anticipate where they're going by utilizing other programs at your disposal that show, hey, this is what the terrain looks like. These are the road options that this individual has to choose from. Oh, and by the way, they need to know if there's any civilians in the area, if there's any other cars in the area in case you do strike them. So you gotta do a lot at the same time. So you have multiple systems running that you're monitoring, that you're communicating with, that you're trying to optimize at any given point in time. For a person that is very picky in particular about the, where they want to live, this might not be the best career field for you. There's limited choices. Most of the choices as far as what bases and what units you can be assigned to are in the desert. In Nevada, there's one large base, Holloman Air Force Base as well. As of right now, there's one base that is in the works of opening up Shaw Air Force Base. Tyndall Air Force Base has been announced to be opening up within the next few years as well in Florida. The physical demands that this job is going to place on an individual's body strictly come from sitting for long hours at a time. One has to remember that they're still a part of the military and they have to work out. And even though you're sitting for eight hours, you still have to be a healthy individual. Some people do have issues as far as employing weapons. Many other aircraft, they'll drop a weapon and they don't even have to look at the target. For us specifically as a sensor operator, we have to watch that person the entire time. He could be a very bad person. They still maybe have families and such. And if that's something that you don't really want to do, the sensor operator might not be a good fit for you. 